One billion people around the world rely on fish for their primary source of protein. Fact, three quarters of the world's oceans are considered to be officially overexploited or fished to their limit. Fact, 80% of the fish species in our southern oceans can't be found anywhere else. And yet, we're fishing them faster than they can replenish themselves, which means that once they're gone, they're gone for good. Meanwhile, 27 million tonnes of unwanted fish and other marine life, including turtles, sharks and dolphins, are being killed beside the target fish. This is pushing a lot of our marine life towards extinction. Now the maths just doesn't add up, but what do you do when you're standing in your restaurant ordering your fish dish? The great thing here though is that a consumer has a very powerful voice. First thing you do is get some knowledge. The Marine Conservation Society has an Australian Sustainable Seafood Guide which tells you which fish are sustainable, which ones to think about twice, and which ones you should definitely avoid. The best thing about this is that you don't have to be an expert, you can just use it as a bit of a tool. Now, as a general rule though, smaller is better. The great thing about smaller fish is that they breed faster and they tend to be more short-lived, so they can survive the fishing pressures. Large fish like tuna and shark tend to have more problems, partly because they have less young. So talk to the person who sells you your fish. Ask them where it comes from and whether it's sustainable. This will encourage them to support more sustainable fishing practices. And you know what? Be adventurous. Because when you buy the underutilised species, not only are you supporting our more popular fish, you're actually going on a bit of a culinary adventure. Because we all know we can't just sit there. We have to do something. You know what? It's time to get food wise about sustainable fish. Mm. That's cool.